The Lofton family is extraordinary, and all I can say is it boggles my mind. I think, you know, they would give St. Teresa a run for her money. How many people do that, are willing to give up everything and to, you know, raise five children um, with special needs and to encounter all kinds of uh, discrimination and homophobia and racism. As far as the state of Florida was concerned, gay foster parents were as good of a dumping ground as any. When Bert was um, about 18 months to two years, uh, he zero reverted. He became HIV negative. Now that I don't have HIV, they all try to take me back. When Bert became negative, he became desirable in the state's eye for adoption. So suddenly, they're willing to take Bert away from his brothers, his sisters, everyone that he's come to know as his family. Suddenly, they're going to rip him away from all of this. And the reason? Because gay people cannot adopt in the state of Florida. If the Florida legislators really searched their hearts, there's no way that they can't be a good parent. Are you going to let these kids be raised by loving parents who can take care of them, or are you going to leave them in institutions? Well, look, nobody uh, advocates uh, the institutionalization of children, uh, plain and simple. Uh, children flourish best when they have a mom and a dad. And missing that, you, you have a big void that needs to be filled. What they have done it has been commendable, but they're not going to be adoptive parents. I, of course, I'd love to be a fly on that wall. Coming out gay for girls. We're coming out gay for girls. No flair for fashion, I got no taste. My Playgirl subscription went to waste. Sorry, Dad. My friends accept me the way that I am. Two dads will never ever understand It's not like I ever got to choose And I've got everything to lose By coming out gay for girls We're coming out gay for girls